Hi, I'm Erica, and this is my father-in-law, Jim. He's a very grumpy plumber. And today we are going to talk about plastic pipes and copper pipes, what's better, and what a master plumber would put in his own house. Hi, I'm Jordan. I started the Grumpy Plumber because I'm lucky enough to have a dad who's an amazing plumber. He's been a plumber for 48 years. And since I bought my house five years ago, he has saved us tens of thousands of dollars with his experience and his advice. So we started this channel to help people out with some great plumbing advice. And for those who really care about credentials, he's been a master plumber in Michigan, and he's also a C36 plumbing contractor in California. 48 years of plumbing, he knows something. It also makes him a little bit grumpy when he's sharing advice. Don't piss him off. All right, Jimbo, what are we doing? Copper, plastic? Well, years ago, it was all copper. First, it was galvanized water piping. Then it went to copper water piping because it was easier to put in. There was nothing wrong with galvanized except it would rust over the years and slow your water pressure down and all this stuff. Then we went to copper, okay? And copper is very good. But then years ago, what we soldered all the joints with was what we called uh, lead. The, so the solder had lead in it. It was called 50-50 solder. Of course, the states came through and said we can't use that. Yeah. Can't use it lead anymore. Lead in your drinking water. So now we have lead-free solder. Okay? okay. So now solder's pretty good. But then they they came back in the in the 60s or 70s out with a plastic tubing. The term a lot of people call it nowadays they call it PEX tubing, and uh, they use it in drinking water. They use it in uh, uh, water services to the houses now it's a different type of name to that uh, and they use it in heating in floor heat but the copper pipe is good okay there's nothing wrong with copper pipe we've had it for years and nothing wrong but PEX tubing is a lot less money uh, it's the material itself costs less uh, uh, labor wise definitely a lot of labor a lot less labor to put it in because they can drill holes they can string it just like the electrician and they feel like the electrician. Of course, some plumbers think it, it's terrible and it, and it doesn't look good. But, you know, do you have company over and do you open up your walls and show them what's inside the walls? No. So, you know, you're, you're not going to see it. I, as far as I'm concerned, there's less fittings to it. And when you have, a less, when you have less fittings, you have less chance of leaks on things. You know, and when you go around corners, a lot of times leaks or where there's corners, they've used 90 degree elbows. You you know, even when you put a circuit, hot water circulating system in, so when you open up your faucet, you know, clear at the other end of the house, you've got instant hot water. That's a thing that they can have a lot of leaks with under copper, okay? Uh, which is because the water is constantly moving and it's wearing out the copper. With the PEX tubing, as far as I'm concerned, will last a long time. Uh, so yes, I prefer Right now, even though I haven't used it much because I've did mostly service in the last 20 some years, uh, but I have done repairs with it. I would recommend PEX tubing over it. You know, if you're the kind of eagle plumber and you think it's terrible and I'm not going to be the artist that the customer paid for, then, you know, he's going to use the copper pipe. But I prefer the PEX tubing. I think it's um, great. I really think it is good. And that's actually saying a lot because Jim does not go cheap on many things in life and yeah. so for you saying that the cheaper thing is actually just as good maybe even better like I think yeah. that's that's a pretty pretty high marks from you yeah and I you know you know you know everybody thinks well it's a plastic you know you know we've had it for years they've been using before you use the the packs you use the a, a, a plastic pipe called CPVC and it was kind of a, like a PVC, but it had a. It was made for water. It would hold more heat and more temperature. Oh, we used that. That's been used a long time. A lot of people have their houses plumbed in that. But that's more chance of, of leaks. You know, there, there's always expansion in water piping because of the hot water. Mm -hmm. But you you know, it's around. It's still there. But you know, I've seen people come back and say, "Well, God, I got a funny taste or a funny odor in my water." But you know that you might after water use and that'll disappear. But I think the PEX tubing is a is a or plastic tubing, and there's all brands of it, and it will take 
you know, like in California, some people say, well, it won't take the high pressure. It'll, if you can freeze PEX tubing and it doesn't break, you can't get any more pressure than that, yeah. the way I think. So, you know, that, I think that philosophy or how they say that is, no, that's untrue. Because copper pipe, and I came from the coldest place in, on this earth, uh, you know, pipes would freeze and, you know, you'd have to cut them out and you'd have to unthaw them and everything else. But they would break. So, uh, and your insurance company does not pay for breakage. Oh. Okay, but, I have kind of a silly question. Taste difference between copper and plastic? No, I don't. Some people think there are. They can, you know, they could have a hot dog and one hot dog tastes different than the other hot dog. You know, it might be, it takes a while for the pipes to clean out a little bit, or you could run, you know, they, if you, you know, have a problem with your water system, a lot of times they will run Clorox through it and clean the piping. You know, that, that tastes going to be in there for a little bit too. Yeah. So, All right. no, you, you know, everybody's got different taste buds and everybody, you know, worries about their health a different way. So you know, you, you live to die. So if you were to build a house today, plastic pipes all the way? Oh, definitely all the way. It, okay. it, no doubt about it. It's just like, why would, and I can buy it reasonable, but it still costs a lot of time and money to do it. Okay. And I don't want to sit there soldering joints all day long. So you know? plastic because it lasts just as long, probably. Probably longer. Probably it lasts probably longer. longer. Uh, it's cheaper for the materials and it's cheaper to install. Yes. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, Jim. And you can do it yourself. You know, you don't need us plumbers to do things like that. Uh, you know? <laughs> I don't know if I could do it myself, no. but. Yes, you can. Okay. Very easy. All okay. right. Well, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit subscribe because we have Jim coming out with a new question at least once a week. And if you have a question yourself, drop it in the comments below and we will be sure to answer it. And hopefully you liked it, so hit the I like button. If you don't, Ask the gardener what to do.